I already uh, have a .NET Core web project uh, that contains a WebSocket endpoint. Let's run this and, and check whether it's working or not. Okay, it's crashed and let's run it again. Point. I think it's checked. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, it's it's, it's checked. Okay. Uh, you can see that uh, it's working fine. Before you continue, uh, make uh, sure your Nginx uh, version is greater than or equal to 1.3. Okay, um, mine is uh, less than 1.3, so I'm going to install the uh, newer version. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, simply follow this guide and uh, install the Nginx. And uh, before you continue, uh, actually uh, this is a virtual machine uh, that I'm using to demonstrate this uh, tutorial maybe you are about to install it uh, in a server that you use to host your projects so make sure to uh, back up the nginx folder uh, normally uh, nginx uh, configuration folder it's uh, located under under the etc nginx and you can uh, back up the sites available or the site enabled and uh, nginx configuration and uh, it's better to back up the whole red tree and i'm going to uh, continue with the installation Okay, uh, let's build the uh, .NET for project.
Okay, uh, let's run the project and uh, check whether it's working or not. It's uh, working. Uh, I'm gonna use the uh, default virtual host configuration file for this uh, demo and uh, um, this is the code uh, that worked for me. I will uh, put this code, uh, put this uh, snippet in the description, so you can just copy. Okay, let's uh, restart the service and let's check whether it's working or not. Okay, uh, you can see that it's working and it connect uh, through the nginx reverse proxy and uh, this is the nginx con configuration that uh, responsible for the reverse proxy and uh, I hope you good luck and thanks for watching.